Hi. Often when you're playing around with old hard drives or old systems that you haven't touched for 20 years or more, uh, you've forgotten the password. So what I was going to do in this quick video is just to show you how to get into the system and reset that password. What you do is you do a conversational boot onto the drive and then say set slash start up OPA0. What that does is it replaces the startup command procedure with the console so that you can then just type commands directly. So it just drops you to a prompt. First thing you have to do is set no on. If you don't do that and you make a mistake, you'll get kicked out. So you have to do that. And then I'll just do that so that I can fix my mistakes. What you do then is get yourself into sysexy and find the sysuif and you rename that to something else. Right, you can then exit back to the console prompt there and you do another boot. Another conversational boot. This time you do a minimum boot. So you set start at P1 to min. And continue that. And this will just boot the system with most of the base operating system stuff but it won't run your site specific procedures and all that sort of stuff so all your products won't start Once you're booted, you just type system and then just hit return twice and you're in because there's no UAF so there's no, you can't look up the passwords. What you then do is Go back to sysexy. And rename your sysuif back. Then you can go into authorize. And do a mod system. And that's it. If I try and log in now, let's see it wants a password now. And I'll just use the one that I've set. Once you're logged in, don't forget to change your startup back to blank. So next time you reboot, it'll come up normally. Anyway, hope you found that of interest and we'll catch up with you next time.